Welcome back to Sailing Sunday. We've just arrived here in Wilmington, North Carolina, where we'll be spending the next few days on the town dock to ride out some wild weather. Tornado punch! But it's not all doom and gloom. This town has a lot to offer, including great food, tons of historical buildings, and by far one of the coolest dive bars we've ever seen. While we're here, we're also going to start gearing up for our season in the Bahamas. But let's not get ahead of ourselves because we still have a storm to ride out first. Welcome to Storm Day in Wilmington, North Carolina. <laughs> we've gotten up this morning. We got a nasty storm coming. It's already raining, but the wind hasn't hit yet. So we're gonna really quickly run into town right near the dock where we're at right now and grab a bagel. We've been told that this bagel, this bagel joint is like where it's at for a quick breakfast bagel. Probably do takeaway, because then Ryan's heading out with Rick, who has a car here, to go run some errands. I don't know. And apparently they're leaving me behind to fend for myself here on the boat when we got 60 knots coming to hit us. Ready for a bagel, Capitan? Yes, and then we're going to take Jackson for a run through town. I was going to bring Jackson, but it's like pouring in rain, so I'm just going to take him for a quick walk today. I don't want to walk down. It's like torrential downpouring. You can hear Jackson. He's crying because Ryan's putting his harness on to go for a quick walk. He's super excited. <laughs> it is raining out though, so... <laughs> oh, the joys of owning a dog. <laughs> The Wilmington Free Dock is in the heart of town, making almost everything you need within walking distance. You really can't get much better than that. <laughs> oh no! Rain or shine, we're still here to show you guys Wilmington. We're risking our lives right now in this storm. <laughs> we're, so we're committed to bagels. <laughs> Now, this place was recommended to us by quite a few different people, so we had to go and see what the hype was all about. Turns out we were actually pretty lucky to get something on this day, because every other time we tried, they'd either run out of everything or had a lineup out the door. They must really love their bagels here in North Carolina. That was, there was a lot going on there. Mm -hmm. Worth it going down in the rain? That's good, eh? Mm. So this storm's coming and I just checked the local weather warnings. So each color represents a certain watch, right? We're currently in Wilmington. So let's give a little click on Wilmington and see what we got here. Tornado watch! What the hell? Georgetown. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that was breaking loose. We'd picked Wilmington to ride this one out because it was quite a ways inland and super well protected. And from what our friends along the coast further south were reporting, things were getting real nasty real fast. In Florida, they were experiencing sustained winds of 40 to 60 knots for three days straight. And it just so happened to be heading our way. So if a tornado comes through, we're kind of like screwed. <laughs> I've seen the movie Twister, I know what to do. We just go under a bridge with our truck and crash it. I'd go in that dumpster over there. <laughs> in the dumpster? <laughs> oh, la, la, la. So look, can I just... I'd go in the basement of that hotel. Yeah, that's what I'd do. I'd run over there, but then we lose our boat. The majority of the wind's coming from here, it's going to shift this way. And then tomorrow it will come from there, but that's after the storm has died down. I got this line here. I got this line here. Well, that plane, hang on, look at that plane. He's struggling. Yeah. Well, at least there's no tornadoes the next half an hour because the airport's <laughs> still open. I've tried to keep a lot of the pressure on this longer line so it can stretch. When the wind shifts, I get this black line and I'll move this black line to this cleat here. So then we'll have three lines working the other way. Does that make sense? High five. Right. Look at how many lines Ian and Dasha have. One, two, it's like a spider web. Oh, she's moving.
As you can see, everything's flooded. Which also means that this dock is holding on for dear life. And everybody has to climb over up this thing and then back down. Okay. Get back, get back, get back, come. <laughs> she got a job. So the wind is coming directly from behind that hotel, which is blocking us. Get down here, it's so, so windy. So good thing we're not on this dock. <laughs> Although soon our dog will be like this, we're going to get up. Yeah. She's holding on. And this was not a lake earlier. Literally like four hours ago, this was dry. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much windier over here. And Ryan's trying to take all the credit saying it's because he strategically placed us behind the building. I did. I yeah. took this up here. I said we're going to Wilmington. We're going to get protection for the hotel. You, that was just a happy accident. There's was, no way I, you thought in your head, yep, I'm going to go to Wilmington because the buildings will protect I us. Did. I did. I said that. <laughs> You're I, such a liar. I, I've been here before. The wind was coming from that direction. So I'm going to be protected. Such a liar. Whatever. <laughs> So it's a gloomy, stormy day. I've been on the computer editing for most of it, but it's time to eat. We had those bagels this morning, which was a nice little treat, but it was very naughty. So for dinner, we're gonna do salad, but I thought I'd share this one with you guys because it's one of my favorites and I haven't done it in so long. It's super easy. So let's go on this journey together. Oh, oh, there we go. I used to meal prep this salad for myself every week to take to work and I absolutely loved it. It's super filling and so simple and satisfying. Just don't eat it with Ryan because he makes me leave out the best part. I'm just sprinkling on my imaginary toasted pine nuts. Once my garlic and pumpkin are roasted and crispy, I drizzle on my honey and voila. <laughs> All right, blink twice if you're being held against your will. <laughs> what is it? Pumpkin salad? Pumpkin salad with feta, spinach, and purple onion. And there's supposed to be pine nuts in this, but somebody doesn't like pine nuts. Mmm, I love pumpkin. <laughs> We're in America now. It's not pumpkin, it's squash. I would normally let it cool overnight and then put my salad together the next day, and it's a lot better when it's cold. I think it's good. Say that again? I think it's good. Mmm. Oh my god, that's a big bite. Storm didn't turn out to be as hectic as it was forecasted. We're actually suppose, really protected. That's what they're really protected, yeah. Quite lucky. All right, we're gonna finish having dinner, watch some Netflix. Netflix and chill, baby. And call it a night. We'll see you tomorrow. The next day after the storm had passed, we decided to explore in town. And our first stop was the famous Cotton Exchange. Established in 1874, this building was a focal point for the town's thriving cotton market. Since at the time, Wilmington was a major southern port. Today, the building's home to modern shops and restaurants while still carrying on its beautiful historic charm. After walking around for a bit, we decided to stop at one of the restaurants here called Patty's Hollow. A cute and rustic feeling pub serving American style food in a pretty cool setting. If you happen to be in the area, the Cotton Exchange is definitely worth a visit. Everywhere you go here in downtown Wilmington feels like a step back in time. The well-preserved cobblestone streets, charming historic buildings, Victorian and antebellum homes make this town a must-see if you're looking for that quiet southern charm. Um, and did I mention the food's good? There's so many cool pubs and eateries to choose from, all with their own southern flair. You definitely won't be going hungry in this town. They also seem to cater to the pets here, so Jackson won't be going hungry either. This one, this one's too small. <laughs> this little tail. Jackson, look at you your this, toy. Or do you want this? Or do you want? Do you want this? Oh. Which one? Or do you want? Do you want this? <laughs> Which, one? <laughs> Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Oh, you want this one, don't you? Do you want this one? Oh, there's a good boy. <laughs> Reverse. Yeah, go. Reverse. <laughs> that was a good boy. You're a goober. 
our time in Wilmington is coming to an end, but we still have two more spots we want to visit before we leave. The first being North Carolina's most famous dive bar, the Fat Pelican. Located in Carolina Beach, this place is definitely living up to the hype. Known for its eclectic decor, chill vibes, sandy floors, and a walk-in self-serve fridge with a huge variety of drinks to choose from. No more having to ask the bartender for a drinks menu. This is definitely not your average bar. So we're at the Fat Pelican, the world's, no, North Carolina's best dive bar. Basically, you get your drinks, you pay for them, and you just sort of drink them. How cool is that? So pick a beer. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> It's winter, so we opted for the cozy indoor seating in front of a wood-burning fire. But we could definitely picture this place absolutely pumping in summer. If you happen to be coming to the area, do us a favor and add this place to your list. I promise you won't regret it. With an awesome dive bar checked off our list, it was time to hit the dive shop. We're going to be spending the season in the Bahamas, and we're so excited to get back to catching and cooking our meals. But the Bahamas have very specific regulations on spearing, and our spear guns aren't allowed. So it's time to add some pull spears to our arsenal. Ryan also snapped his dive fins back in the BVI, so it was definitely time for him to get a new pair. And I happen to have really tiny feet and can never find any that fit me properly. So it was pretty cool when Mark, the shop owner, took my foot measurements and customized a new set for me. We had so much fun chatting with these guys about spearfishing and they have some wild stories. All right, we're back now. So that place was called Reef Runner here in Wilmington. So uh, Mark, the owner, there was an awesome guy. Go speak to him and uh, he'll hook you up. Um, the reason we went there was because we wanted these C4 fins and um, they, uh, they're the distributors for North America and they just happen to be around the corner and we're here on the boat. So it just worked out. So uh, we just went around there and saw them and we needed a spear pole as well for Bahamas because you're not allowed to use a spear gun there. So we can't use our spear guns in the Bahamas so we gotta learn how to use spear poles now. So we got a spear pole, uh, two of them, and uh, we got a pair of fins and Brittany got a pair as well. And uh, Brittany's stoked with her silver pair and um, I got my black pair. That night after the sun went down, we woke up to a very loud bang and came out to find quite the surprise. <laughs> with the current shifting in these rivers daily, it's amazing what they can bring with them. Jackson, no. Yeah. It moved a whole boat. Yeah. <laughs> you might have to leave it, Ryan, and just wait for the tide to push it out. Oh. The current's so strong that this giant tree stump just wouldn't budge. Every time we made a little bit of progress, the river would literally just push it straight back. So it was time to take a different approach. After we got that all cleared up, it was time to get some sleep because we were heading off the very next morning. We loved our time here in Wilmington and look forward to visiting again soon. But we have our sights set firmly on the Bahamas, so it's time to head south to warmer weather. Goodbye Wilmington, you beautiful bastard. <laughs> If you enjoyed the videos, don't forget to subscribe and join us next week as things get a little scary. What does it say? There's to take shelter until 3.45 p.m. in this area. What? National Weather Service tornado warning in this area until 3.45. Take shelter now in a basement. Hurry. Oh my God. All right. If you like the videos, please subscribe. Fell off the couch. <laughs> Like and subscribe.